welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Karen I'm following the swimming world plan and I vlog daily what I eat in a days I also do weighing updates on a Tuesday but now I'm going to show you how to make a slow cooker lasagna and this is what you will need so for this slow cooker lasagna you will need some five percent beef mince some lasagna sheets if you use fresh you'll have to thin them a can of chopped tomatoes some lazy garlic one onion fry light marmite or the supermarket equivalent it's optional if you put that in or not but it does add an extra meaty flavor to your lasagna some peppers some mushrooms a pot of quark a vegetable i've been using a vegetable stock because that's all i've got in at the moment otherwise i would have used beef tomato puree i have got a large beef tomato that needs using so i'm gonna use that as well and then i would usually use a large tub of this but i've only got the little ones in so i'm just going to use two of those I've got some oregano, salt and pepper, and these two cheeses are healthy extra A's, so I will be measuring out six healthy extra A portions of those to use along with the lasagna for the topping. So that is everything you will need. I'll just put my mince in the frying pan with some fry light and I am just browning that off while I'm preparing the vegetables so I've mentioned I've mentioned this Briefton's chopper before I can't recommend it enough it comes with different size blades and it makes the art of chopping so much easier you need to obviously take all your skin and bits off and get the vegetables into a diceable size you can't just put like a whole onion in there and expect it to chop it but I'm gonna dice my mushrooms peppers a big tomato and the onion now with the chopper I haven't done the um, mushrooms yet. I'm going to do the mushrooms in a minute. I'm going to put this into the frying pan along with the mince mixture. But it's nice diced bits of vegetable without all the without all the chopping. So I'm going to transfer this in with the mince and then do the mushrooms. So I've just washed my mushrooms, and you can fit a whole mushroom in this machine so and there you have your chopped mushrooms in a matter of less than a minute and they're a nice size they're not too big or not too small with this particular chopper I purchased you get three different size blades you get a really tiny little one the one I'm using and then a bigger one as well so these are now going to go in with my mince and vegetables so in my pan now all I've got in here is the vegetables that I have chopped a large packet of 5% beef mince and I've also added in two teaspoons of lazy garlic you can use um, garlic cloves if you prefer that I've just put in some lazy garlic 
So I'm going to cook this through now until the vegetables have softened up a bit and then I will add in the rest of the ingredients. So now this has been simmering for a short while, I'm going to add the other ingredients. So into this I am adding a stock pot. I'm going to add one tin of tomatoes. A big squirt of tomato puree. And then mix those in. I'm also going to add in a little oregano, a tiny bit of pepper, fresh cracked, well not fresh but cracked pepper and a little grind of salt. And then the magic ingredient, if you want to add this, put it in at this stage. If you don't want to add it, leave it out. It is the Marmite. So you can put as much or as little in as you want. I'm just putting one big dollop, heaped dollop in there, like so. And it really does give you an extra beefy flavour. So just mix that in. Now I'm just going to leave that to simmer for literally five minutes and then I will assemble this into the slow cooker. Don't forget this doesn't have to be thoroughly cooked through because it's going to be in the slow cooker for quite some hours now. So I'll just leave that to simmer for five minutes. Now I'm just going to make the white sauce for my lasagna. Now a lot of people use lots of different ways of doing it. They blend macaroni and cheese. They make the proper stuff and sin it. Um, there's all different ways. No one ever does it the same way. I always do it this way, which is the way I'm doing it today. So I use a whole tub of quark, which is obviously sin free. Now I would, like I said earlier, usually use a large yoghurt as well or, or a large Greek yoghurt, natural one, but I haven't got that in, I've just got some smaller ones, so I am going to use two of these and see if that's enough. you may well look at this and think it's not going to make a good white sauce but I do it every time and every time without fail it's really nice the kids like it my husband likes it nobody turns their nose up and then all I'm going to put in there is a little pepper and some salt And then mix them together. Just make sure they're well mixed together. And that is the white sauce. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to assemble my lasagna into the slow cooker. Now I have never done a slow cooker one before. I always do it in the oven. So this is going to obviously be trial and error, but we'll see what it 
turns out like. Um, so I'm going to start as I would in a dish with a mince layer. So I'm going to put a layer of mince on the bottom. And then obviously these lasagna sheets aren't going to fit like they would in a proper lasagna dish. So you are going to need to break them up to fit. They don't have to obviously be perfect. And then a little bit of sauce. Usually I would only put my sauce on at the end, but I'm going to put it in between the layers on this one. Oops. Uh, right. So that's one layer. I didn't I also didn't add any extra water into my mince mixture because it didn't need it. And you don't obviously want this mixture being too wet. Basically, just keep layering it until you've got as many layers as you wish. layer so that is the last of the mints so I'm going to finish off then with lasagna sheets obviously as you get wider in the dish you can fit a tiny bit more lasagna sheets on Again, if you want to use fresh ones, you can, but just don't forget you would need to then sin those. This fresh pasta is not sin free. And it doesn't matter that there's, a, that there's not loads and loads of white sauce because it's going right through, obviously. And there it is, finished being layered. And then all we need to do then is top it with so the cheese. I have measured out six portions of the cheese that I had. I've done three of each, so I've got a mixed amount of cheese here. So just mix it, make sure it's mixed together. And then all I'm doing is putting all this cheese evenly over the top of the lasagna. Try to do it as evenly as you can. So here's the lasagna. That's what it looks like before I turn on the slow cooker. Now this will be on for seven hours on low. If you want to make it quicker, you can put it on for three hours on high. 
However, we're not in a hurry for this. We'll be having it tonight for our tea. And once the seven hours is up and it's ready to serve, I shall show you what it looks like. So I shall catch you later, guys. Bye. So seven hours has now passed and this should be ready to serve. Let's have a look. Well, it certainly looks like lasagna. So I'm going to get a knife now and portion, portion that up. Right, so I want this lasagna to do six portions. So I'm going to cut down and try it do it equally without scratching my slow cooker. through easy enough and then down the middle And here we have it. Let's see what it's like inside. This is what it looks like inside, just like any lasagna that you would do in the oven. It's plated up to eat with some extra speed on the side so i will be having this for my dinner tonight i hope you enjoy the lasagna if you decide to give it a go and i hope you enjoyed the vlog and i'll catch you on the next one bye guys